Hey, people of the grid. It's Thursday, November the 3rd. It's been a really uh, hectic morning. I haven't even gotten out for uh, tea yet, and it is already 1 o'clock. So I'm going to pop out and grab a tea uh, for Tammy and I. And Tammy is heading out of town for the weekend. She's going to a scrapbooking retreat, which means that I have to be responsible and watch all four kids. So I just got back from uh, grabbing a tea, and look what I found on our front doorstep. Spider's still there. Got to get rid of that guy. And a nice big package sitting on our door. And you know what I think that is? I think that is the last part of Tammy's birthday present, which was the uh, mats for the Model X for Cora. So these are going to be her uh, winter mats to protect the carpets. Housekeeping! You want me fluff pillow? Those Yay, are. It's my mats. Yeah. Oh, yeah, they're heavy. Should I open them? Yeah, I want to see them. So there's mats in here. Mhm. Mm you got this? I don't know. Hang on. There's like a lot of them, right? Yeah, I'll hold on to you. Whoa! <laughs> I got gotcha. you. I got gotcha. you. Hold on to the mat. <laughs> I got it. Okay, I got it. You know what the problem is? My legs aren't long enough. And your T-Rex arms are too short. <laughs> My T-Rex. That, that's why the T-Rex went extinct. <laughs> Couldn't get to the winter floor mats. Alright. You know what the problem is? The user? Those are really nice. Let me see. Yeah, so see? Wow. They're grippy on the bottom. Yeah. And we have the uh, anchors. Yeah. This is the third row mat. Hey, what's that little cutout? It's for the little... Um, oh, was that for the very back? So when you lift yeah, it, yeah. yeah. Dude, oh, and this nice. is the, the mat for oh, when for the, the big seats area are down. Yeah. Well, happy birthday again. Light runner here. Psst. Rescue required. Psst. What is the nature of the rescue required? Psst. Owen and Christopher at the Shaughnessy Tim Hortons. Psst. What is the nature of the rescue? Psst. Father and son trapped in their vehicle out of gas and can't go through the drive through Psst. That sounds serious. Light runner on my way. Mike are out. Tesla dispatch out. Oh, hey, people of the grid. Miker here. I am uh, on my way to effect a rescue of uh, some travelers from out of province. Now, we on the uh, Tesla response team, we get a lot of these types of calls. We got people from all over the place, out of province, out of country. They drive long distances. They come here for the fishing, for the hunting, for the skiing, the snowboarding. They just come to see what's out here. They drive all that distance and they forget a couple of key safety things. They forget to gas up, they forget to come with a full coffee cup, and then they find themselves stranded in a Tim Hortons parking lot, uh, no gas and no coffee. And that's where we, the uh, Tesla response team, come in. We get these calls, probably a couple of thousand per month. And uh, so we hop in our cruisers, we head out, we effect rescue, we give them a warm coffee, we give them a hug, we send them on their way. It's part of the Tesla road service program. You know, they're in a strange city. They're scared. We usually find them terrified, cowering in their vehicles. They're so worried that somebody's gonna get them. They don't wanna leave the safety of their vehicle. And so they call for help. And again, that's where we come in. We give them the hug. We'll drive them through the drive-through. Sometimes they, they just need to be shown the way. We show them that it's the same drive-through as it is anywhere else. Um, and once they've done that, they, their confidence builds up, and then we send them on their way. All right, so I'm searching, uh, searching for the lost boys here in the parking lot. We can usually find them by their plates, but uh, not seeing them. Oh my gosh, I think I see them. Yeah, they look pretty shook up. They look pretty scared. There they are. I'm going to go in for the hug, cheer them up. Hey guys, welcome to Calgary. Let me give you a hug there, big fella. Welcome. Owen, right? Yeah. And Christopher? Yeah. Welcome, buddy. You guys scared? <laughs> Here, we'll get out of the sun. Yeah, they look scared. 
We're gonna hop in the vehicle. I'll show you how to drive through the drive-through. It's the same as where you're from. And then we'll get you guys to give it a try. Sound good? So there we go. Another rescue. Another couple of guys on their way. Take care guys. All the best. See you later. Dispatch, this is Mike Earp. Go ahead, Mike Earp. Dispatch, the uh, rescue of Owen and Christopher is complete. They are safe and on their way, and they have their Tim Hortons coffees. 10-4, dispatch out. Psst. Dispatch, we usually say over, over. Uh, I don't have to in this case. Over. Psst. You just did, though. Over. Psst. What are you doing tonight, dispatch? Psst, over. Over, psst. Fine, over, psst. I didn't hear you, over, psst. Dispatch, psst, over. Yes. What you doing, psst? Working with windows and I'm not having fun. Micer out. Out. Look guys, mom is leaving us. <laughs> Going to have a weekend of fun, packing all her stuff. <laughs> she doesn't care what we eat. I left you food. She left us leftovers. Isn't that special? <laughs> oh, and she's got the new mats in. We'll have to get that. Here is our Prince George guy. He's the mascot of Prince George, British Columbia, Canada. He's pretty cool. There he is, sitting on our dash of the Light Runner. There he is. Yeah, Tammy, those mats look phenomenal. They look very futuristic. Yeah. I left you chocolate. You're That's fine. Mine. Well, You'll survive. <laughs> We're gonna have to survive on Halloween candy. And, and there's peanuts. They're protein. What if uh, What if I had a peanut allergy? That could kill me. Don't eat the peanuts. Eat the chocolate. But it says it could have been in contact with a peanut. This could kill me. You're good. What if I'm gluten intolerant? <laughs> You're not. It's true. Hey, I met the nicest people from the grid. Owen and Christopher, great meeting you guys. And a special hello to Lisa. And happy anniversary that's coming up for you guys from Tammy and I. Wow, you guys are two years ahead of us. We, uh, Congrats. We just went through our 17th back in May. Uh, they're so going to be celebrating their 19th well, anniversary. Congrats. So Big year next year. Congratulations on the anniversary oh, coming up. And our final two kids are home. There's Sammy. There's Melissa. <laughs> she came back. And look what they're kind enough to give us. A nice little bag with some goodies in it. It's an it. awesome bag. Yeah, it is an awesome bag. Prince George guy. There's a whole nother bag. Oh, that's awesome. Oh, a gray one and a black one. That is awesome. I like those. You guys didn't have to bags. give us anything. Yeah. Yes, you did. That's very You gave us George. You didn't. Yes, George was pretty cool. This is gonna now be our theater survival bag because they also gave us Smirnoff ices for when the theater doesn't have them we just smuggle <laughs> them in up. the official visitor's guide to prince george and a letter quick thank you for your time we know your family's a busy one appreciate watching and feeling normal seeing the daily show and dilemmas your family has and of course what brought us to your channel the teslas we can't wait to go electric it's not happening fast enough p.s hope you can smuggle the treats into your next theater date night we will <laughs> Mr. Prince George doll is a mascot from our city and people post photos around the world doing things with him. Haven't seen him in a Tesla yet. And a New York fry bag. Thank you very much, Owen, Christopher, and Lisa. You weren't here, but they were thinking of you. The boys are doing great. I helped them through the Tim Hortons drive-thru. They got their coffees. They're continuing on their way on their journey. So maybe safe we'll- Safe travels. Safe travels. And maybe we'll see you uh, next time Prince we're George. in uh, Prince George. Awesome. By the way, they're from, or at least Owen was, from Canmore. So that's where Tammy's going for her scrapbooking weekend. She's abandoning us. She's leaving us 
to go scrapbooking with uh, her mom and friends to have fun in the mountains. I'm gonna sleep in every day. So before I head out today, I'm gonna put in the new mats just to show you guys. I still have to vacuum, but at least this way you can see what they look like. Um, one thing I really like is they have a, a nice, tight, snug fit. I'll show you that. So you like see here, like they're cut right to size. One thing about the, the Tesla mats, like in the back here, we're always adjusting. Like they just seem to, to lift a bit. So these new ones, yeah, ignore the dirt because it is really dirty, but keep in mind we have four kids. Like they tend to move around a bit. So let's put the new ones in and see what they look like. So as you can see, it almost looks like a jigsaw puzzle, but um, it's a single piece. And I noticed someone spilled something. Check out how nice and snug they are. They're just snug right up to the, right up to the, uh, on the back seat here. But lots of room. So I got the second row mats in and yeah, check that out. Like nice and snug. The reason I picked these, there was a couple things about them I liked for winter. One, water is supposed to pool up in these little um, these little bowls or these little circles really nice. So if something gets spilled, it'll just stay right here on the mat. They stay in place. They're custom made, so custom fit. And check out, like, when I move it, they don't go anywhere. They just stay right where they're supposed to, which is fabulous. So the front. The rear is right there. Right here. Great mats. So yeah, like in the new mats. Very futuristic. So they're made by Lloyd's Mats. They're custom cut. I'll probably leave in about a half hour. Gotta love the supercharger. So charging is complete. You know, I was just thinking about it and I think this is only the second trip I've ever supercharged. Mike's always supercharging and I just don't get that same option because I'm usually at home. But it took about 40 minutes uh, to get to 90%. Not bad at all. I'm gonna go unplug. All right, we're here. Let's go check into the hotel. Here's my room. Yes, Mike, the fireplace is on, because I can. So miss you guys. Um, dad, make sure you feed the children. Children, make sure dad feeds you. Um, I don't care what, just as so long as it's food. And take care of each other, and I miss you tons already, and I'll see you Sunday. Oh, hey, people of the grid. I think I'm gonna wrap it up here. It's been uh, a full, full day out here. Um, full day of work, ran a rescue mission over my lunch period there, saved some uh, good boys from Prince George. Our, uh, our little girl Melissa has claimed the little uh, Prince George doll. She loves that guy, so I think she's going to be uh, keeping him um, with her the whole time. Tammy has uh, made it out to Canmore. She's set up shop in her uh, her hotel over there. She actually got there one day early just so she could uh, get set up and do some extra relaxing before her mom and friends showed up. Yeah. Oh, I squeezed in a boosted board ride. Did not catch fire. That's a good thing. I'm hoping they figure it out quick and they say it's just a small lot of batteries. Like I said, I'm going to keep riding mine um, while I can because the weather's so good here. Worst case scenario, they do a recall and I send it back. Check out how much uh, riding I've already done. 150 kilometers. That's a lot. I'll convert it. It's like, uh, it's over 70 miles. That's awesome. So it's a lot of fun too. Anyways, uh, got to get the kids off to bed. It is, ooh. 9:20 right now and uh lisa's gonna get a big surprise when she watches this i don't think she knew anything about this so um hello lisa go to bed it's past your bedtime talk to you guys later people of the grid micer out you did it again did what again
Of course I didn't fall over. <laughs> <laughs>